Today we're looking at how you can fix the Arduino pin spacing if you're trying to create your own custom shield. So you may be coming across this issue where you noticed that this side doesn't have an issue with the normal spacing, which is 100 mil spacing, 0.1 inch. But for the other side, you're not able to put a straight connector right across there. And that's because this doesn't follow the standard 100 mil spacing. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is use one of these headers and we're going to attach that right on the side of the Arduino. And then we're going to jump wires right across here to connect to the Arduino pins. And that's going to put this back into the 100 mil spacing. So this will be this will be one row and then this will jump to the next row. What it's going to do is it's going to be able to line up with the shield. So you see that first row and then it goes up to the next row. Now these pin headers, I've collected a lot of these from just different kits that come with uh, the Arduinos. Sometimes they include them with the kit. Uh, I actually have some that have longer pins than the other ones. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these with the longer pins. I'm going to take that and use take advantage of these longer pins to bend them into place to solder to these pins. So if you don't have the longer ones, the shorter ones might work if you want to try to bend them. Yeah, you see, I bent one of them just to show you. So if you're using one with the shorter pins, it's not gonna reach as far as you need it to go. So you're probably gonna have to use a little tiny wire also, for my particular project, I'm using a Wemos D1 Wi-Fi board rather than the Arduino Uno. So I'm going to make the modifications to this board. Now, one thing I'm going to do as well is I'm going to use some super glue and put that between the plastic here. If you don't plan on removing the shield often, you might be able to just be fine without that. I'm going to put the glue in there just to give it that extra strength. Now, one thing I do recommend is set up your headers, insert your shield where you want it to be uh, so that when you are gluing this in place and soldering this in place, you wanna make sure that the pins don't get misaligned from the shield. And that's gonna guide this to where it needs to be. So I'm going to now put some super glue on this. I'm also going to clamp that down. So I'm going to leave that clamped while I move on to soldering these connections here. First thing is bending these in place. I'm going to use some pliers and just bend them right across. So now we've got these heads across. We made sure that the Arduino shield still fits in. Now I put them on top of the existing pins because I'm okay with having the extra headroom at the bottom. Uh, I'd rather solder them on top than on the side and risk creating a, a solder bridge between two pins. I set up the top perf board where I want it to be. I wanted to have one row extra here for soldering in wires. And so this side had two rows for wires and I wanted it flush on this end. So with this together, it's time to get on to soldering now. Some of you may be wondering what's the reason for the odd pin spacing that we see on the Arduino boards. I did some research and found someone who mentioned on Stack Exchange they met Massimo, the original creator of the Arduino. Some people thought it was maybe to help you from accidentally putting the shields on backwards, but the actual reason was because of an error in the original CAD Gerber file. So it was actually unintentional. And there was a proposal at one point apparently to remove that unusual pin spacing. But in favor of reverse compatibility with the older shields, it was turned down. So that's the story of how this got this way. Now I just go through here and clip these off. They do fly off when you cut it, so I'm gonna cover it with my hand. Okay, once they're clipped, it's all done. Now at this point, if you have any concerns about the pin shorting, you can use a multimeter and check between the pins. Make sure that there is no continuity there, but otherwise that will complete it. And now you can remove the shield. 
and this is all together. See the super glue there helps keep these two binded together, the plastics. And then that's soldered on the back. So now I have this with the extra rail, plus the custom shield, which I can now add components, wire breakouts, whatever I need to add to this. And I have it with the 100 mil spacing.